In the flask is some acetone, and we're going to pour some acetone into the petri dish. To the left is a styrofoam cup, and what we're going to do with the styrofoam cup is we're going to invert it and place it into the acetone, and let's see what happens in real time. Alright, the big question we have here is why does the styrofoam cup do that? Styrofoam is actually a chemical called polystyrene, and polystyrene is a polymer. A polymer is a chemical made up of repeated units of smaller chemicals called monomers. Polystyrene itself is not that strong, but it's cross-linked to form real strength. And what happens is, is the polystyrene is blown out during the process and kind of filled with gas and, and that's what makes the styrofoam cup so light and such a good insulator. And what happens is you put the polystyrene, the styrofoam cup into the acetone, the polystyrene dissolves and you're left with the cross-linked compounds that hold the polystyrene long chains together to give it that strength and there are the cross-linked chemicals left, and it's really hard and stiff.